Hello once again. This time, since it's a much requested um, part of the editor, I want to introduce the import function of the UFME. So the first thing we need to do is get a height map. I go to Terrain Party to get my height maps. And since I'm a huge Korea fan, I will import the Busan area. So I already have Korea here. I will zoom into the Busan area. This box is the area where the height map will be selected from. So I just move it oh, that it fits what I need to, what I need it for. This maybe a little bit bigger. And download it. Just give it a name. I call it just Buxan. Just have a look at it. You can see this first file is already a pretty nice height map. We're gonna take this one, so let's copy it. Go to our desktop. Just call it Busan. And I'll open it with paint.net. And you can use any program you want but I use paint.net a lot so I go to change size change it to the correct size of 1024 times 1024 and save it now I go to the editor start a new project and just call it Busan Give my map the name Busan, give it an ID. You can always click on the plus to get the auto suggestion from the editor. And we're done. Next thing we need to do is go on File, Import Height Map. Go to our desktop, select the Busan uh, height map, and there it is. Now we just need to rebuild it. The build function basically runs a smoothing filter over the already loaded height map, so it's not that abrupt, it's smooth and terrain. If you change it to normal mode, you can change the filter to a radius of 10, for example. Just rebuild it, and it's smoother. I found 5 is pretty okay for most apps. So the next thing we need to do, since we don't need to build any terrain, we can change priority to assets. And the first thing we need to do is build a material map. Just set it a little bit lower, maybe on 70. That's, this material map looks a lot like what we see here. Fits nicely, so we'll take this one. Since we found out that our beach level is at around 70, we can set this one to just above 70, maybe 90. Maybe since it's very mountainous terrain, we can set the density just a bit higher. Maybe even the steepness. Doesn't get better. <laughs> All right. Let's get a lot of bushes. There you go. 
another the same parameters basically for the star maps. Okay. No iron, so we need to go lower on the height. And at last, the fish map, you can set it pretty low since the water is at the zero. And there we have some nice fish in places. To check how it looks on the map, you can go to the resource density, resource density combined. Now you can see the material map and all the resources. We will probably get a spawn area here, here, over there. So that should be okay. Next edition, next version of the UFME will have a prediction where um, starting areas are. I'm working on that part. So the next thing we need to do is get a few tree maps. I like to have three tree maps. The first one is really low from like beach area up to 200-300. Just build once to see how it looks. That's okay with me. So I just add two other types of trees, oaks, sycamore and poplar. I like the dark color basic map and the yellow one so it gets a taint of color. I can also set the weight for the oak to scars. Sycamore to abundant. Then we add another tree map from two hundred to six hundred. Increase steepness since we're building on the mountainside. Maybe even a little, just a bit more. This one will be pine and sycamore. Just like this. And finally we go from 600 to 1000. And just have some pine growing up there. Now we need to add a few paths. Two should be enough. I set one from over here to over there. good. Now we'll have to check the map info again so we can set the water height and the mountain height. Since this is a pretty mountainous bay area we can set the mountains up 
just a little bit more and go down with the water. You can get a suggested height from here. It calculates from the grass level to just a little bit lower than the grass level, so that's always a good guess. Finally, we should click on Cook. Deselect everything that we don't need to rebuild and cook it. Browser opens. We have all our files right here. We can go to the project folder, rename the cooked folder to our project name, copy this one. Now we go to our foundation game folder to mods and paste our new map right here then we just start the game the game loaded. Now we can go to a new game, select our map and start. You can see that the water level is just a little bit too low. We can set it up in the mod lure file. We can just go to our mods folder, Busan, go to the lure file, and set it just a little bit higher. Well, yeah, basically that's it. Map is built. You can check for starting areas. One is right over here. If you don't like your starting areas, you can always rebuild the various map and the start map. Or rework it with your photo tool. Yeah, that's it. There you have the Busan Bay area. That's the foundation map.